good morning students in the last class we have learned how to use the union operator to retrieve the unique column entries from two different tables and also learned how to use the union all operator to retrieve the column entries from two different tables along with the duplicates you have also come to know that while using the union and union all operator the column names to be retrieved from the two different tables should have the same name and their data types should be compatible the same applies to the intersect and the minus operator today i will be starting with the intersect operator the intersect operator is used to retrieve the common rows from the output of the two queries but surprisingly the intersect operator is not available in my sql but it can be achieved with the help of the where clause along with a subquery in the next slide i will demonstrate the intersect operator using a where clause and a subquery the query in this slide will explain you the concept of intersect operation in mysql using a where clause and a subquery now consider the two tables in this slide customer branch 1 and customer branch 2 now using the intersect operation we are going to retrieve the common rows from the two tables see the query the query says select account number comma customer name from customer branch 1 b1 this is the outer query where b1 is the alias name for the table customer branch 1 then in the next line we have where exist so we are going to use the exist operator to check for the common rows from both the tables then see the subquery inside the bracket the subquery says select account number comma customer name from customer branch 2 b2 here b2 is the alias name for the table customer branch 2 then in the where clause we are checking where b1 dot account number equals to b2 dot account number and b1 dot customer name is equal to b2 dot customer name that means the account number from the table customer branch 1 represented by the alias name b1 should be equal to the account number from the table customer branch 2 represented by the alias name b2 similarly the customer name from the table customer branch 1 represented by the alias name b1 should also be equal to the customer name from the table customer branch 2 represented by the alias name b2 when both these conditions satisfy there is a match and when there is a match the subquery returns true as a result when the subquery returns true the outer query will respond and execute the statement successfully as per the subquery we will first check the account number and customer name from the table customer branch 2 see the first entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 2 these are ac001 and p pattanayak which also matches with the first entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 1 so there is a match and the subquery returns true so the outer query select account number comma customer name from customer branch 1 will respond and display the account number and customer name with the entries ac001 and p pattanayak in the output table again see the second entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table 
customer branch 2 these are AC002 and I Misra, which also matches with the second entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 1. So there is a match and the subquery returns true. So the outer query will respond and display the account number and customer name with the entries AC002 and I Misra in the output table. Again, see the third entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 2. These are AC003 and A Das Gupta, which also matches with the third entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 1. So there is a match and the subquery returns true. So the outer query will respond and display the account number and customer name with the entries AC003 and A Das Gupta in the output table. But for the entry AC004 and R Das as account number and customer name in the table customer branch 2, there is no corresponding matching entry in the table customer branch 1. So the subquery will return false in this case. As a result, the outer query select account number, comma customer name from customer branch 1 will not respond as the subquery returns false. Hence, the result of the outer query will not be added into the output table. Similar case also happens for the entry AC005 and K Agarwal in the table customer branch 2 as there is no corresponding matching entry in the table customer branch 1. So the subquery returns false and the outer query will not respond and the results from the outer query will not be added into the output table. As a result only the common rows from the two tables are added into the output table. Those are AC001 and P. Pattanayak, AC002 and I. Misra, and lastly AC003 and A. Das Gupta. The other rows have been eliminated. output table in this slide clearly shows the common rows belonging to the two tables customer branch 1 and customer branch 2 and that clearly serves the purpose of the intersection operation in MySQL. Let's start with the minus operator. So what is a minus operator? The minus operator is used to get the list of rows from the first query which are not in the second query. Just like intersection, the minus operator is also not available in MySQL. However, it can be achieved using the WHERE clause and the subquery. With the help of the minus operation, we can retrieve the entries of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 1 which are not in the table customer branch 2. Check the query in this slide. There is a slight adjustment. Instead of the word exist, not exist have been used. That means the subquery will return true when there is no matching entries for the columns account number and customer name of the table customer branch 2 in the table customer branch 1. As per the subquery, we will first check the account number and customer name from the table customer branch 2. See the first entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table 
customer branch 2. These are AC001 and P Pattanaya, which also matches with the first entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 1. Since there is a match, using the not exist operator, the subquery returns false and the outer query will not respond. As a result, the entries AC001 and P Pattanayak are discarded. Again, see the second entry of the columns, account number and customer name in the table customer branch 2. These are AC002 and I Misra which also matches with the second entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 1. Since there is a match using the not exist operator, the subquery returns false and the outer query will not respond. As a result, the entries AC002 and I Misra are also discarded. Again, see the third entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 2. These are AC003 and A Das Gupta, which also matches with the third entry of the columns account number and customer name in the table customer branch 1. Since there is a match, using the not exist operator, the subquery returns false and the outer query will not respond. As a result, the entries AC003 and A Das Gupta are also discarded. But for the entry AC004 and R Das as account number and customer name in the table customer branch 2, there is no corresponding matching entry in the table customer branch 1. So, this time the subquery will return true in this case using the not exist operator. As a result, the outer query select account number, comma, customer name from customer branch 1 will respond as the subquery returns true. Hence the outer query will be executed. Once the outer query executes the entry with account number AC004 and customer name M Hansika will be added into the output table. As the previous three entries with account number AC001, AC002 and AC003 in the customer branch 1 table were already discarded. Again, check the entry for AC005 and K Agarwal as account number and customer name in the table customer branch 2. There is no corresponding matching entry in the table customer branch 1. So the subquery will return true in this case using the not exist operator. As a result, the outer query select account number, comma, customer name from customer branch 1 will respond as the subquery returns true. Hence, the outer query will again be executed. Once the outer query executes again, the entry with account number AC005 and customer name N- will be added into the output table as the first three entries with account number AC001, AC002 and AC003 were already discarded and the entry with account number AC004 and M Hansika was added before. As a result, just after the minus operation, there will be only two entries in the output table. Those are 
AC004 and M Hansika as account number and customer name and again AC005 and N- as account number and customer name. As a result, all the column entries of account number and customer name of the table customer branch 2 has been removed from the table customer branch 1. Thus, customer branch 1 has only two entries, those are AC004, M Hansika and AC005 and N- which are the account number and customer name. The output in this slide shows only those column entries of the table customer branch 1 which are not in customer branch 2 and this was made possible using the minus operation with the help of a where clause with not exist operator and a subquery. The entries AC004 and M Hansika in the table customer branch 1 are not in the table customer branch 2 so they are included. Again the entries AC005 and N- in the table customer branch 1 are also not in the table customer branch 2 so they are also included. Remember these points. Literally only union and union all set operators are available in MySQL. The intersect and the minus set operators are not available in MySQL. However, it is made possible using a WHERE clause and a subquery.